we think of space as a silent void. But the universe is a violent place. Black holes spew out deadly blasts of radiation. Solar flares explode millions of miles into space. And rocks as big as mountains careen into planets, moving at 10 miles a second. It has happened here before. 65 million years ago, an asteroid six miles across wiped out the dinosaurs. It can happen again. A chunk of space rock just a fraction of that size could kill millions. Some might be nothing more than loose conglomerations of stones barely held together by gravity. Others might be super dense lumps of nickel, iron, or cobalt. A lot of factors go into determining how hazardous a particular object is. What is the total impact energy that it could potentially have? That depends on its composition, its density, how porous it is on the inside. Is it a pile of gravel or is it a big lump of metal? How much does it spin? All of these are things that we need to know about asteroids in order to take appropriate action if we ever find one that's on a threatening course. On February 15, 2013, the universe sent us a warning shot. An asteroid just 60 feet across exploded in midair over Chelyabinsk, Russia. Thousands of people were injured. People went to the windows to look up to see the, uh, the trail in the sky. Then moments after, the shock wave blew out the windows and, you know, cut people's faces. It's the very human story of that event that makes it real for us that this is why we study asteroids. This 200-gallon air cannon can recreate the power of that blast wave as it hit the city in a localized zone about 20 feet in front of it. OK, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. It's vital that we predict what damage these space rocks are going to do. Size matters most, but the next critical factor is the angle at which they enter Earth's atmosphere. The angle is important from the amount of damage that can be done on the ground because objects that strike more vertical to the surface of the ground can make it deeper into the atmosphere. When an asteroid hits our atmosphere, it starts to burn up. Smaller rocks can only last so long before they overheat and explode in midair. The steeper the angle they enter the atmosphere, the closer they can get to the ground before they blow up. If the Chelyabinsk asteroid had come in at the more typical 45-degree angle, Dan calculates it would have exploded at just 40,000 feet. And the pressure of the shock wave hitting the ground would have been about 10 times greater. To calculate the total number of casualties a steeper angled impact could cause, Dan needs to see what happens to people inside buildings. This test office is constructed with an exterior cinder block wall and a standard plate glass window. Okay, here we go. Ready, three, two, one. Geez, that's incredible. This is what you would see. This is what you would see. There'd be paper flying. There is no office anymore. It's gone. We've actually displaced a cinder block from the wall inward, and it's landed in where our dummy was actually sitting. Take a look at our dummy here. It's uh, literally knocked his socks off. You, you don't want to be a part of something like this. This is. This, this is what we want to prevent.